Good afternoon, everybody. We are back up at the Cowboy Trails Network, but we're not at Bon Voyage and we're not at Bob Gnarly. We are at Bone Shaker. Anyways, Bone Shaker is number three of the three double blacks that are up here in the Cowboy Trails Network. And there's some debate about which one is the gnarliest. I think everyone would agree that maybe not aptly named Bob Gnarly is the least gnarly. But then I hear varying responses to people who ride both trails. I would say Bon Voyage has fewer big scary features, but it is very steep and very technical. Switchbacks are somebody's bugaboo. Whereas rock rolls may not be, there's a lot of drops on Bone Shaker. I would say for me, Bone Shaker is scarier. I have technically cleaned everything on it. Not always in a row, but it really depends on the person and your skill set. This one's got a lot of drops at the top again like some of these other cowboy trails double blacks they are uh, relatively mild at the start and then once you head down the last chunk into the into the valley that's when things get steep and gnarly i'm gonna not go too fast these uh Initial drops on Bone Shaker are a lot of fun, but I don't want to go so fast so that you can't really get an idea. Sometimes when you watch some of the better riders do this trail, they are just flying and the drops are maybe three feet, but you can't tell because of the speed they're going and how good they are. This is just a trail. We don't want to talk about just a trail. Absolutely beautiful up here, of course. We're into the end of October. So it is not a lot of daylight, short days, long shadows. This is one of those trails that doesn't get a lot of traffic because it's so hard to get to, but of the three, it gets the most traffic. Heck, somebody even made a sign for it, so. You won't hear Garmin beeping because he's all smashed up, or at least the mount is that holds him. But uh, I can do a little beeping noise every time I leave the ground. That helps. Anyways, we, unlike Bon Voyage, you get into some relatively difficult rock rolls sooner than later. Gotta pay attention for sure. You can drop these, but like I said, we're gonna take it a little slower so you can see what we got. 
This is a little shoot. This is very steep. I know the GoPro is probably not doing a great job of there's a drop. We'll do that drop. And that one. But trust me. <sighs> Take a little break here. Let the legs relax. Talk about where we are. So over there, on the other side of this is Bon Voyage and Bob Gnarly, they come down, go down there, down to the road. Kibbles and Bits is over here. This ridge going up is the ridge we take if we're gonna do ebb and flow. That's Goat Roper, starts down here where we started. Goes up there, drops down into ebb and flow. All right, we're, we're grooving. We're going to traverse across the top of this. Whoa. A bottom bracket smasher. Again, this trail would see a lot more traffic if it were easier to get to. It is the number one gripe is there's no easy or super fun way to get up here. It is a slog. But because of that, the trail doesn't see a lot of bike traffic. It sees a lot of foot traffic, as it is a popular hiking trail, as is all, as are all the Cowboy Trails Network trails and horses, although no one's riding a horse up this thing. Unless it's a extreme horse travel. There's a little chunky thing here. That's our first big feature. Our second feature is right here and it really needs to be looked at before you come and do it. It's pretty steep and you got to make sure your bottom bracket can clear it. So don't just do this one. It is a difficult feature. Go ahead and make sure your bottom bracket clears before you go. my bottom bracket slam. That is lovely. And there's a couple of options when you get down here. I'll stop up here. You can go down this, which is definitely the harder route. Come up here, come across this, drop down this. And jump off that which i'm not going to do today but that is a a b option the other option is and that's what we just came down either going along the right side or right down the middle and we're going to go across there all right Off we go.
So that first big chunky rock roll is the number one first feature to kind of be aware of. Usually the one that people walk. But that second roll that you heard my bottom bracket almost get caught up on. That is probably, well, it is significantly more difficult. It's kind of like the big drop rolls at the end of the chute at Highline, if you've ever done that. It's one of those things that, like people say, yeah, I did Highline, but they leave that out. Same with Bone Shaker. They, uh, <laughs> you'll find that left out a lot. It is a frightening little thing. And it's not those steep, steep drops like that. They have very little bragging rights, so they're not sexy. <laughs> but they're hard. All right, nasty switchback. More switchbacks. This is a dirty little section here. We're still there. Okay. Incredibly steep and loose. Oh, we made it. To live to tell another tale. Very deep. Okay. There's another one that gets people hung up. Chunky rock rolls. Okay, got that one too. Okay, another steep, loose, switchy switch. Another big chunky switchback. Now, I'm going to show you this drop, but I'm not going to do it on an e-bike. Probably four or five feet. Real sketchy takeoff. Pretty sketchy landing. It's not too bad. Um, well, it's bad. Don't do it if you're not comfortable with it. I'm certainly not gonna do it on this 50 port bond thing by myself, but there it is. And there is a, there is a go around. It's one of the only places where there's a go around on this trail. And we go around. Oh, my wrist is a little sore carpal tunnel from doing the whole enchilada last week. Find yourself on the brakes quite a bit out there in Moab. Anyways, we're back. Some steep, steep, steep. Super loose. Keeping our weight. To our bottom racket. Keeping those tires on the dirt, better in those brakes, and get them tilted over. Ah. People don't always show this, because it's not very sexy either, but <laughs> it's steep as all get out, and loose as all hell. But, eventually, you find yourself <sighs> You gotta be me.
find yourself at the bottom and getting yourself too comfortable and you'll wash out like a fool anyways that was the end of bone shaker very very difficult oh look it it's a herd of burros anyways that is bone shaker probably the most difficult trail that we have here in Las Vegas it's not part of the bike park over in Henderson um, of course fully expect to wipe out on the gnarly features not necessarily on the flat part at the bottom but it does it reminds you that you can never never really let up your focus this is really really dry it's all just dust and dirt and it's super easy to lose your focus and lose your grip anyways this has been just the trail I hope you enjoyed Bone Shaker. It is absolutely one of my favorites. Maybe we'll get one on another day where we get the Ripmo up there and we'll get those drops in. Or maybe try them on this thing <laughs> with some other people around. Anyways, enjoy. See you on the trail.